Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product that is K868HAV2. So this board you can see is very small. We have designed this V2 version of HA so that you can see that is the smallest. So you can see this board is very small, only 30 cm. And this opposite and this is in front of this board. So you can use this board uh, integrate to Home Assistant, let your older switch, let your traditional switch, or let your any drag contact sensor integrate to Home Assistant very easily. Also, this support long distance. That 1000 meter is no problem because it's made by IS485. So you can integrate to this traditional switch, or maybe this momentary switch, or sensor to home assistant very easily. And in this video, I will show you this hardware details and how it works with the home assistant and for some different application. And you can see this our HAV2 board. So you can see uh, the size is 30 centimeter. And we can also compare with this V1. And this is V2. You can see. Uh, this is V1 board, and this is V2 board, and this is what's the size? What is different the size? This is size different, and this is pin define. Uh, this pin define for input and for output, and this small board also you can extend for uh, digital input and the digital output. Uh, maybe you have some different place uh, put a small module. Uh, such as you can put a small module to this switch wall sure and this is the EU sure so this also can just very easy to in front uh, just very easy put back of this box and also this EU box also is very easy to insert it so you can see it can control this output and the input and this is for power uh, 12 volt or 24 volt DC or support and IS485 communication for long distance and this is a pin define and this is for the typical schematic and for input for switch button or for drag contact sensor or for output so you can see uh, this is a cable because this time we have designed by this cable just one socket can connect with this, this one directly and here, that is a diagram for one case, uh, this one part, and with one switch, and work with King Kong Smart Relay Controller. So use this one, uh, this small module, and you can let your traditional switch, or older switch, control this King Kong Relay Controller directly. So this is case one, and this is case two. The case two, you can use multi switch. Uh, maybe you have one switch, two switch, or three switch, or four switch, country with one King Kong Radio controller directly. So you can use this one and use this one. Uh, just a two switch and a, and multi switch work at the same time with the King Kong controller. And the next. You can connect this HA board with the ESP32 board. So you can connect with HAV2, many HAV2 connect to IS485 uh, to ESP32 board. So that can integrate this board to Home Assistant directly. So you will see uh, one board that have six channel digital input uh, for binary sensor and six channel digital output for switch. So that is one board. If you have two board, that will have 12 digital input and 12 digital output in Home Assistant. And this is a schematic. And this is how to install to wall switch. And this is a software. The software you can define uh, every button, just this one, every button for down and for up, uh, what actions you will do. Okay, let's look at the next. You will see, you can see it here. That is the PC software. You can see the PC software is more powerful than V1 version. 
So also you can use this one as USB, as 485, just use this one and connect with smartboard uh, to your computer so that you can use our PC software to configure the smart module uh, input, uh, which input channel and uh, control which really output channel. And in this software, you can define uh, every button and for the rising edge and for the following edge, you can see the four actions you can define every button. If I choose this ng event function, just you can choose this one and for first button and I can continue this really one, that means really one output and this will be on and this will be off. So that means if you have an old switch panel, that means on. This is the rising edge I can define for on. And the following edge, that means at here, that is the following edge I can change to off. And if you have a monitor switch, if you have this switch, because this not have, uh, like this one, it's not launch. It's not launch. Just is a monitor. It's a self-reset. So you can also choose this one. You can see I can choose the entry event and just right rising and the follow engine. I can just choose this one for target. Uh, this for target, that means press will change the state of the output. And the following edge, I can choose this one, no define that, no anything to control it. So I only just when press this button, just up, and then the light will be target. So this every edge event, we can choose four different actions, for on and for off, and nothing and for target. So you can define your any dry contact switch, uh, just a signal for up and a signal for down edge. So you can define for different actions. So this is useful within Home Assistant. So you can create many automation and many things mode according to this logic. So this is the software. And the next we can look at uh, this one. This is Home Assistant dashboard and how to configure it, we have write the ESP Home com component uh, and the, the plugin in our GitHub. You can see here, that is how to work config uh, for one ESP32 board to actually board, uh, just for how to configure this YAML file and how to set by the PC software. And this is, and this is another case that connect with the multi HA. Maybe you have many different HA board. So how to config just at here, that is the config YAML file. So this have different solutions uh, for you, just uh, if you have some different uh, settings for the HA board. Or at here in our GitHub, just this have a link uh, to GitHub. Okay, uh, this is the Home Assistant I have added to the HA board. Next, let's look at how it works and how long distance support it. Okay, let's test this smart module. And this we have installed the Home Assistant. This is our server. And this is A8S V2 board that have a ESP32 board. I have connected with this network cable with IS485 and the power voltage uh, for this smart board. Let's look at this smart board uh, hardware details clearly. And you can see uh, that is a terminal, uh, the green terminal also is removable, so that will be easy to connect with the wire. And this is for input, and this is for output, and this is for power supply, and this is for IS485 interface. And this is the back, uh, that is CPU, and this have a small button. This button have reset for reset to manufacturing setting. And also this time the V2 board can support you change the band rate of the IS485. So you can change for a different speed. So this is a very small, just use this small one. And this also will be very easy to install this hole. You can see this is easy EU stand or wall switch. And also you can install to this uh, square wall switch. So that is enough 
enough space for you to install in your wall uh, with the switch panel. And also you can use this uh, old switch panel and uh, just use this one. You can see uh, very easy. Okay, now let's test uh, how it works with the long distance. The network cable is C85 type. It's almost uh, more than 300 meters. Actually, this board supports 1200 meters because it's IS485 communication. So maybe you have asked me the watch whether we'll reduce or uh, go through this network cable, so much network cable. So I use multimeter to test it to tell you. And we can use this multimeter and test the power watch first. And you can see this is a server mini. I have installed the Raspberry Pi. So that I have installed the home assistant in the last video. And this is it has V2 board uh, that have the eight channel only output. Uh, this is for the menu country button. That is for relay. And this you can see I have connected with the power wire. The 12 volt DC. So this have two point is positive and the three point is negative. So it's very easy to connect this C85 cable uh, just to this terminal directly. And this is for IS485 communication. That is, you can see, A and B for IS85. So you just connect with 2i. So totally I have used a four cable. And this four cable, uh, this four cable I have not used. Uh, you can cut it or you can use by other functions. I have used a four cable. So also this way I have used this four cable, have connect with a small module. Okay, let's test the voltage firstly and uh, test the, the power supply firstly. You can see I can test it here and at here. This is the power supply, uh, power incoming. And you can see 12.27 uh, is the voltage is 12.27. Okay, let's test the another side uh, goes through this 300 meter. What power watch have reduced? So just test this two point. This two point. Uh, this also is ground. Okay, and you can see the watch is reduced to 11.5 watt. So almost reduced about one watt. No problem, because this small board also support work with 9 volt. So 11 volt is no problem. It's work well, so perfect, with only one cable connect with the ESP32 board. Okay, the power supply is no problem for long distance to use. And the next, let's test uh, this one, uh, one of this cable, such as this is K1. Which one? Uh, this one is... Uh, this one is K1, uh, switch one. So we will test it short with ground. Uh, this one, I will short with ground. And pay attention to my home assistant dashboard. You can see, if I short, and this binary sensor six, that will be on, and if I release it, so that will be off. So you can see a shot that will be on and this will be released. So if I get this second cable, uh, this one, this cable, I shot for this terminal ground and you will see the binary sensor file that will be on and release it, that will be off. So this six cable that you can use for different dry contact sensor just uh, this switch cable, uh, just this switch also is one of GI contact signal. So also you can use door sensor, smoking sensor, gas sensor, or window sensor. So that you can just install this smart board. You can convert to the signal to IS485 and integrate to, to home assistant very easily. 
Okay, let's look at the second. We have tested this is for input, this is input, and this one is output. The output is also have six one. So that in our home assistant, that you will have a six switch. Because we have used this six switch, we can control this output one. So you can see, I can test the one, one of cable. I can also test the voltage. And here. And use a multimeter. Also, this is ground. This is ground. And this, use my hand to shut for this. This one, you can see almost 5 watts, uh, 4.9 watt. Now I can control my home assistant. You can see I sh turn on this one. You can see the voltage becomes yellow. And if I turn off, the voltage becomes almost 5 watts, uh, 4.9 watts. I can turn on again. So that's the voltage almost uh, reduced to yellow. So, so according to this, principle you can use home assistant to control this six cable different voltage output if you have connect a driver so you can connect with six independently relay extend the module so that you can control six relay so maybe you have installed this smart board have control six relay module or maybe you have installed driver to control other device or other load just for output device so this is how to use uh, this six cable for output. So if you want to uh, use this input cable, and also you very easy, you can see I can put this cable and put this board in our switch box. Uh, this is our switch box and put it here. And maybe you will install this, uh, this older switch. And you just, you can see, you just hold on, install at it. No problem, because this cable uh, will go through uh, and by this hole or this hole. So this is enough uh, for you to install this smart board. You can also, we can test it. Uh, this is smart switch. I have connect all COM together and with this cable, uh, just this one. So you can see I use this input one, switch one. And this wall switch, you can see that have L1. So I can connect with it. And this another cable, the ground. Let's first power off. Power off. And I can connect with this one, uh, this is the ground, at here. Okay, that have fixed. And now we can power on. You can see I can connect with this board. And now you can pay attention to my home assistant. And you can see when I press this button, the sensor state will be changed. So you can connect with the second and the third and the fourth button to this input 2, input 3, input 4. This is how to use this HA smart board. Thanks for watching.